Yo, what's good? Let us <laughs> enjoy it and enjoy it. Shout out to my t-shirt. <laughs> you know what I mean? I By like the way, guy, 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 I'm shooting. I can't afford a young man to wear a drafting. I'm here in a Julia line. It's mine. You understand? You what you want, da boy? What up, Jado? Hey, how you doing? Are you all right? I'm good. You know. I'm one of those fortunate guys who has uh, Juliana on the text, <laughs> nigga. Shit. But Bill, you know you can get me any time for your yeah. uh, interviews. But I don't we're, take we're that for granted. We're more than just friends. We're, we're, we're like brother and sister at this point. I don't take that for granted, though. I don't take it for granted either. Because I also call you when I need you, right? Yeah. And you come. So, yeah. We don't have uh, a drink. We should have... Uh, Toast to that. To friendship. Yeah. So imagine you're holding a glass to oh, friendship. To friendship. <laughs> with What's my it? nigga Julia. No. Oh. How are you doing? Yo, I remember when I just like on Twitter and I called you, whoa, Jay. Mm. And somebody went and said, hey, so you know how like that? Mm. Nigga, I put because in the word. They don't, they don't know, you I know. Put, I put in the who, work. Who our friends are. But yeah. also, Juliana, I need to uh, go back to, I think the year is 2013, 2012. Mm. Like me and you kept joking about this, uh, of how I met you, mm. and I was trembling. And I was like, cutting <laughs> No, this is a real story though. Shout out to Lillian. Lillian introduced me to you. I remember that day. Okay. Caritas was <coughs> there. Mm. I don't want to say the brand. Nenga Muka Umbrella. Mm -hmm. While you're in Gama, like I would know you, but that could go a car white. I was like, dog, that's Juliana right there. So, the next about Kulilia and Nemogamba Lilian, yo, yeah, make it happen. Yeah, um, second, no, that's the okay, that's the first time. Mm -hmm. Second time, I was still amateur <coughs> in my filming and everything. Name Kulemira Kwai ambushed you, and TV name Kuata footage. That one now I remember hey. for sure. Mm, Bambi, I didn't feel like that. In fact, mm. I was like, Bambi is such a nice guy, very mm. nice uh, person. Mm. Like, what is it? We kind of connected from the beginning, and I think that's why we're friends right now. Yeah. But strangely, I don't remember the first time. I don't remember it. I was but uh, blame it on my memory sometimes. Yeah. I forget things. But Kuserena, I remember. No, but also you were in that place and uh, I want to run you, you might go get an hour. So like, I, I kind of feel like as a celebrity, you get overwhelmed in the movie for cutting up parties and gays or like, yeah. You might go get an hour, you might go get a quick one hour, it's fun. And so on, go to a little bit now or remote too. At the end of the day, you get tired yeah. and you just want to be Juliana. Mm. Omana wa mama, mm. Atali Juliana the artist. <coughs> True. You understand? True. So, yeah, being in the industry for quite a while right now, I kind of understand why celebrities are overwhelmed. Yeah. Because I was in the America and I was in the Singapore. I was in the paparazzi. Like they come to your house and just wait at the gate. Yeah. I hope it never comes here. To it be, be something so else. Yeah. I don't think companies in Uganda are ready to pay that much money for a picture. Oh, yeah, think about it. But you it. understand, Jawan, yeah, like 5000 10000 dollars for mm. a picture? Dog. It's so I economy guess of HRD, we're not yet which there. is good. To do that to, to you Kaka understand? Yeah. yeah. But Jay, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, I'm okay. Before even we kicked <coughs> off the interview, um, but then Kugama, it's almost a year. Yeah. Plus a week or two since you did a concert. Isn't that amazing though? Mm. Time really flies. I feel like I had it like yesterday. Mm. Mm. I know. Though I want to back up and yeah. You made, judge. you made a promise when you're leaving that stage. What, the EP? That part. Yeah. Uh, our tooth, by the way, eh? they have every right to come manja. It's what just that, you that um, mm -hmm. my only issue is, um, you know when you're a perfectionist? Right. And in my case, I keep listening back. And then suddenly I change my mind and I'm like, ah. Not to choose. To collaborate to Hungerekoba, you get. So, um, unfortunately, Ipine, Sanganga, 
it has delayed beyond um, what I promised. But the reason why I don't feel so bad about it, while I should feel bad about it, of course it's delayed, is because I'm trying to get the best for them, you mm. know. I feel like my fans deserve the best that I can offer. Mm. And if I'm not yet there, mm. I would rather wait until I get to that spot where I know that, okay, now this is perfect. Mm. This is um, what they deserve to hear. Mm. And, but we're almost there. We're almost there. Plus, <coughs> like over the years, uh, I think, are you over two decades yet? Of music? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Um, 2005 is when I released the Nabikoa album. Uh. So 2005, do the math. 2015, that's 10 years. Uh. No. Um, but you had already sung 2016. Nabikoa yeah, is you already established uh, professionally. Yeah, but of course, Wubala Jiremiya Kimiyala was even still in school. Uh, yeah. yeah. But if we say professionally, 2005, uh, say about 17, 18 years, I think. 18 years. Wow. Mm. Almost bad, 20. Much in bad Yeah. Because uh, show your Navio every day yesterday. So I'm thinking <coughs> Navio is two decades. How is Navio two decades and you're not two decades? Over night hours are two <coughs> decades. Yeah. My first album. Yeah. 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 But of course, we will be all the other years when I was just up and coming, right, right. you know, coming out of school, right. doing um, <clears throat> all kinds of things, you know, music, radio, uh, radio ads, mm. Mm. then they, they're more than 20 years. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of Navio. Yeah. 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 Uh, to Ali Kulonsha Navio, Kazora yeah. Nagamba, this is the very first hip hop song mm. that premiered on Jam Agenda, his Jam Agenda, not the Collins Jam Agenda. Okay. The first hip hop record. Wow. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. How did and, you. And mm. How it came about, because I think that's what you mm. were going to ask, mm. how it came about was again very. Sometimes I think the best music happens like spontaneously, like right. it's not planned. Right. That's what I, at least in my experience. Right. Because I remember I was in studio at that time. I don't remember what I was recording. Must have been some radio ad. Because mm. I told you those days. Yeah. I, you know, I used to do ads and stuff. <clears throat> but I happened to be in the studio. Shout out to your voice. <clears throat> Is with, it Baba? Um, ads. Baba Studio, mm. yes. And I was with um, Dawu. Mm. Have you met Dao? No, I've not. But okay, so Dao was one of the hottest big producers name in the industry. at that time, mm. yes. And Dao was our producer, uh, IJ, mm. and then he also happened to be uh, Clear Cut's producer. Mm. So he, he had that song that he was working on with them mm. called All I Want to Know. Mm. And I'm guessing he was looking for someone to sing the chorus. So he comes to me like, hey, by the way, I have this song. Do you think you can give me a chorus. I'm like, cool, play it, let me hear it. It's nothing. And I loved it. And one, two takes, and that was it. Yeah. So what I didn't know was how successful it was going to get, <laughs> you know? Because you weren't in the video. I hadn't even met those guys when I was singing that song. You're not even in the video. Now, in the video, Why is, I remember you famous the here? time they shot the video. I was just getting started as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. The time they were doing the video, I must have been pregnant with Karen. Rest his oh, soul. Oh, rest his soul. Yeah, I must have been pregnant. Damn. Mm. So that's how I missed out. I don't want us to get emotional. On, on, on being, um, um, you yeah. know, in the video. Yeah. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I know that topic I don't want to touch because, you know. Why? Okay. Um, Why don't you want to touch it? I know it's, um, I sort of feel like... Like like you're afraid of taking me back? Yeah, and man, no. So let me just um, explain something about grief and loss. It's difficult for someone to understand mm -hmm. 
when they are not in your shoes, right? Mm -hmm. But let me just explain something. Uh, it, it, it's not like every single day mm -hmm. you're sad and crying about your loved one. Right. There are moments. Mm -hmm. So for example, there are moments when if you just brought up his name, <clears throat> I'd become a mess emotionally. Mm. And then there are moments when I would literally talk about him and we laugh about his silly jokes and all those things. So it just depends on the moment. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, if you put it like that. Yeah. It's part of the healing process. Some days you'll be good and some, day, some days you'll just be... Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've been to your house a ton of times. Mm. There's that big picture. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that people, has people's yeah. messages and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like every time I get them, I'm like, damn. Yeah. She's a really strong woman to, mm. to look at that. Because um, in 2010, <coughs> 11, mm. Mm. like this girl, I had a girl I really, really liked. Yeah. But she passed. Oh, sorry. So every time we're talking about somebody's loss, yeah. I know that. Because I remember being, like, grabbing that chick in yeah. my arms. Oh, man. Taking her to hospital. Mm. And then she did this thing like, <gasps> so I didn't know what that meant. So we take her into the hospital, mm. uh, into the, the doctors, whatever. Yeah. And then they, to, uh, they tell me to stay behind, not to come in. Mm. And then a few minutes later, they ask for, you know, the big Maasai red blankets? Yes. Yeah, they tell me to send it inside. Meanwhile, the time when she did that <coughs> yeah. is when she had passed. Oh. And I didn't know. Okay. okay. So news comes out mm. and uh, I'm mm. seated. You know, death has no man or strong or muscles or whatever. Mm. I remember feeling like my world had come to an end. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So... It's a tough moment. Um, Every time I yeah. remember like such a situation where somebody lost their person, mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really get to, into it. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's get back to the fun stuff. <laughs> so uh, still speaking of uh, you, you know, coming up, what's yeah. your first job? First job? Mm. Oh, let's say your first million and everything. <laughs> Do part. I remember the, the, the first million? Mm. I probably got, no I, uh, no, I got the first million when I was singing. Mm. Mm. Because not even my radio job gave me a million at the beginning. Wait, what? So it was music, for sure. It mm. was music. Do you remember the feeling? Do I remember what gig it was? No, I can't remember. But I definitely got my first million singing. Mm. Yeah. How did I feel holding your first Yo. million? felt amazing mm. felt amazing um i can't remember what i spent it on mm. but um from a young age i was not like the extravagant type mm. like i wouldn't go spending all my money and all that um so i if i'm not mistaken i probably saved it on the account or mm. you know bought something for my mom or something like that mm. yeah Damn, is this Sabrina Dave? Mm -mm. No. Man, we started earning a million and above much later. Must have been, must have been uh, about 2006, 2005, 2006. That's mm. when I could command, Man. you know, some money. Because now I've, you know, gotten my break yeah. in the industry. Must have been about that time. Damn. Yeah. Man, uh, it's, so, it's so nice because when I still mm. remember my first job was, um, it wasn't a million. Mm. Uh, that's my mother paying me 50,000, but I used to, my mom was a hustler. Mm. My mom was uh, a P7 dropout. Yeah. Started selling old clothes, what we call Mivumba, on mm. uh, the streets of Entebbe. Mm. Uh, she graduated, later graduated to a film studio. I don't know what she was doing. Yeah. And um, and then she elevated, uh, went, did a course in Nairobi, mm. uh, beauty therapy and blah, blah, blah. Mm. So she started doing like house calls for like 
uh, the elites of Kampala who never wanted to go to the spas and stuff. Okay. So she started doing that. Mm. And I so remember like my first like uh, being introduced to like really ambassadors, blah, 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 mm -hmm. is because I used to go with my mom when she used to go to work. Mm. So she goes to work, let's say in Kololo, mm -hmm. uh, there's something called uh, bamboo candles that are placed in the gardens. Okay. The light at night, mm. the paraffin, whatever, mm. from the village. Mm. So we, my mom used to, uh, we used to, we come from Entebbe, mm. and then we have like, uh, two or three samples of Mavanda, like the candles, mm -hmm. yeah? So I used to hawk them around uh, oh, she used Kololo. To sell them. Yeah. Okay. So I go looking for business mm -hmm. in the um, Kololo, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. in the restaurants, the bougie restaurants, because that's what our target mm -hmm. market. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's uh, how I started making my first money. Okay. So my mom would tell me like, okay, I'm going to work, but so go do that. So she used to give you like a cut from, yeah. from the, yeah. like each candle you sell? Yeah. Right? A dog. How man. did that feel? And what did you spend your money on? Um, I can't even lie. Okay. I used to enjoy seeing kids who have like guns, yeah. like pistols, blah, 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 yeah. the water guns. Mm. So I think that's probably what I spent. And also cakes. Uh, mm. For everybody or anybody who grew up in Entebbe, mm. there is a bakery called, I don't know if it still exists, mm. it used to have uh, uh, nice cakes, Buenda. Just like for the people who grew up in Entebbe in the 80s and 90s, Buenda yeah. was like, they the, 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 yeah. the big, big thing. Bakery. So I used to, when they give me my money, I go buy a pack of cakes, yeah. then sit <laughs> up in a tree. <laughs> so for everybody who knows Entebbe, you know that stretch uh. that has bars like four turkeys and blah, 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 blah. Okay. That right there was my flat <clears throat> where I grew up at. So I used to sit in the tree, mm. demolish all my cakes, <laughs> then go to the The crib. whole pack. Yeah. <laughs> but when we were kids, we would just eat, 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 eat. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But like, those are fun memories growing up. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, so that's how I earned my first money. Um, what should we talk about? I just don't want don't us know. to be what scripted and everything. About? You understand? What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about... Mm. Have you ever been disappointed meeting your idols? Because I have. Have I been disappointed by an idol I've met? And then you find I'm trying out. to recall if I've mm. been disappointed by an idol I've met. Yes. Um, you, you might not name drop, but... Yeah, I'm not going to say her name. Yeah. She's American. Mm. Part of me was disappointed, mm. but part of me kind of understood mm. because of where I met her. So mm. we were, yes, she's a celebrity, but mm. we were in the queue because, mm. you know, we're business class. Mm. So I was in the same queue with her. Mm. But she had like four kids. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So she was really stressed out. And I could understand. I mean, she said hi, mm. but it was kind of like... Yeah. I'm sorry, but, you know, that's like, But also damn. being a mother, you understand. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Mm. That part of me was disappointed, but then I was like, no, no, the woman is stressed. She has kids. I mean, I would be the same if someone came and they were like, hi, hi, I mean, you know. Mm. Yeah, but have I met anyone else who really disappointed me? No. Mm. No. I guess I've been lucky. Yeah. Uh, I think it's actually a whole thing like, uh, don't meet your idols. Or Sometimes when you hold them like high regard and then... Yeah, which kind of makes me nervous now. Yeah. Like when, when people meet me for the first time, yeah. I'm always worried that yeah. I don't disappoint them. First impression. Yeah, mm. because there are times when they're going to find you and maybe you have a headache. Yeah. Maybe... You have a whole lot of things going you on just in had your a, life. Uh, you know, an argument with someone. Mm. Maybe your check didn't go through. That part. Something. That part. And, or, or sometimes... Um, They'll ask you for a selfie. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you don't feel like you're ready for a picture. Mm. You know, like one of those days when I'm going to do groceries. Mm. Sometimes I'll just, you know, put on my shades and... Oh, can I say this? Jeans. I yeah. remember the first... Uh, not the first time. Yeah. Uh, I think we went this particular place. Yeah, yeah. Because you're my person. Yes. You are not in the mood of taking a picture. Uh-huh. I think and we you, were still in COVID. No. 
yes. somebody wanted <laughs> somebody i knew <laughs> like pambi you know i'm going to go yeah okay mm. and then we took the picture and then like you, you it was still during covid and you know you having a fresh born child yeah you never took your mask off but i was like yeah but also i think there are benefits of being a celebrity of uh, mm. of your stature yeah i think me i'm not anywhere closer to your kind of fame but i've seen what fame can what, do what for it, people what, yes it, it's got its it's got its ups and downs, more ups definitely than downs. It's a blessing, you mm. know, to, to be in a position like that and to have such a huge platform. Mm. Yeah, so um, for me, I look at the, the advantages than the disadvantages because they are way more, you mm. know, the blessings that come with that, mm. way more, you know. Um, and, and there's nothing wrong with taking pictures with, with fans, of course. We love it. It's just that sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's just bad timing, but it's, it's also a blessing. Yeah. To Shout out to your fans, though. Like that. Mm. <clears throat> Shout out to your fans because they've done some really amazing things or trends in Uganda mm. that have opened doors for other people to start doing. Because like, I think your fans were the very first fan group in Uganda that put their celebrity on a billboard. It had never happened man, in Uganda. Those kids. I told them, you, you guys, you're crazy, right? And then after that, I just saw people starting to do <laughs> I asked them, how much did you the spend? They refused to tell me. I said, how much did you spend? They're yeah. like, no, we're not going to tell you. I was actually not even here. Yeah, you went yeah. to the country. They are... Lawyer. Not even lawyer, man. It's, it's lawyer is an understatement. They, they, they really are amazing. Um, so anyone who has like a fan group like that, they know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You sometimes you wonder what to do for them because they love you so much, and you feel like maybe you're not even giving them enough. You I know. know, it's it's just a blessing, and they do these things themselves. Dog, I was with you, you in know? Dar es Salaam, and <clears throat> your fans came all and the came way all to the way. Tanzania. You remember the shock on my face? I was like, what? I thought, what are you doing here? They were like, we've come to watch you. Like, in Tanzania, Yo. bought their own and plane they tickets. Like, they were like, they were about ten, I think. You know, it's, it's amazing, That's love. Right? That's love that I haven't seen in a very long time. Very long it's, time. It's stuff you can't take for granted, for sure. It's stuff you can't take for granted because you could sing all your life and never get to experience that. Yeah. But just getting to see what that feels like, just getting to um, see what it's like for people to love you like that is um, it's just a blessing. It's a miracle from God, yeah. you know. Um, it's just, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, speaking of uh, concerts, mm. uh, something going on to the fans. Yeah. I remember you are one of the most, because you don't like to be in public a mm. lot, mm. you just like to be alone. Yeah. But you get backlash for that kind of stuff. <coughs> not being <coughs> out enough, not whatevering enough. Mm. So I remember something, one of the most iconic things you did for me at the concert. Mm. I was busy running around, but mm. it was you shouting out the late Isma Olaxes and Kasuko in the crowd. Mm. And these <laughs> are people who uh, sometimes attacked you. Mm. You understand? Mm. But like to me, that was super iconic. Wow. Like, yo, <laughs> shout out Isma, <laughs> shout out Kasuko. Yeah. And these guys were going, mm. you killed them with kindness. And First later on, all, you became kind um, of acquaintances or something with yeah. Ismail Access. God rest his soul. Um, it is rare for me, and f I guess for anyone, mm. when someone dies and you haven't even met them physically, yeah. but you feel as if you, you knew them. Yeah. That's how I felt with Isma. Um, it's sad that we hadn't met yeah. physically yet. Yeah. Although we'd spoken, I think, twice or thrice. He was happy. Phone. I remember him talking on his life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes I take it for granted being your friend mm. when people like fan out, because I've seen people fan out when they <laughs> see you. I called him 
and then I introduced myself. He wasn't expecting my call because he didn't know my number. Right, right. So um, um, I got the number from someone. And yeah. Then I called him. Yeah. And I just wanted to thank him for what he was doing because honestly, I was a fan. The thing about see what you were saying that you know I, sh I give them a shout out. Right. I'm a type of person that, and this is, you know, about both Kasuko and Isma. Yeah. And everyone else who does that kind of work. Right. I like to look at someone as a whole. Right. And um, give credit where it's due. Right. And then if it's criticism, mm. I analyze it. Right. Is it constructive criticism mm. or were, this, were they just being petty? Yeah. So where they're being petty, I let it go. Right. But there are moments where you'll actually learn something from them. Right. And, you know, by the time someone gets to a certain level and achieves a certain level of influence, right. there's a reason why. Yeah. There's a reason why. When you look at Isma, Isma had his, his moments. Because I followed him a lot. He right. had his moments when he would go off. Mm. <laughs> and then you're like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah. But then if you listen to him during other times, right. you'd be surprised just how much he was saying. Like he was so well informed. Right. I mean, he was, he was special mm. in that area. Right. He was, I think he had what they call the X factor. Mm. How do you do those Facebook lives, Bulikumacha? The energy. And you can't run out of stuff to talk about? Yeah. That's too much. It's. It's a gift. So um, it's sad that, you know, God took him. But for me, you know, I believe that the moment you've finished serving your purpose, right. that's when God takes you. So I, I, I'd like to believe that those few years that we got to know him and got to interact with him, right. that was God allowing him to live out his purpose to the fullest. Mm. You know, the sad thing is that it was short. We felt like yeah. we would have loved for him to stay longer. I actually felt for Kasuko. Yeah. Yes, I felt for him because I think they'd become like so close. Brothers. And then shortly after that, Katoluwama. And yeah. these are people who are working with him. Yeah. You know, so. Um, Losing people in almost the same, like 60 days apart. Yes, yes. But um, such is life, right? Mm -hmm. I actually got to meet Kasuku many years later. <laughs> we started mm -hmm. off <laughs> very. Hey! My friendship with Kasuku was not. Um, a nice one. Kasuku started off on a high, you know, when he was working on the radio, still on the radio. Is that Red Pepper days? Yeah, I think. I think that's when he was working on, on, in, in, in the Red Pepper, but at the same time was working on the radio. Yeah. And he was that guy that, you know, switched on the mic on Saturday and you're like, It's going Yo. down. <laughs> what is he going to say today? Right. He was very controversial, but... Mm. We've met a few times now, we talk. Um, it's, it's, the thing with me is that I don't, <sighs> like Kept I like grudges. putting things behind me. Like mm. I don't like holding on to stuff. Even when I have like a disagreement with someone at home, right. one, two, three days, I want to let it go, yeah. you know? So yeah, those years were tough, um, but I put it behind me because I kind of feel like Asuku is a different person now. Yeah. Yeah. Even when you watch him, he's different. Yeah. He's, he's, his approach on he's things. He's moved on from. I think he's grown from from um, you know the the Kasuku that he was back then. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what life is all about: growth. You know, mm. you come from the way I was in my twenties and thirties is not the way I am now in my forties. Yeah. You know, so we grow, we mature, mm. we. Um, our view on life changes based on the experiences we've been through. Mm -hmm. And um, honestly, I, 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 I'm a fan of his channel. I love, I love how he's 
so consistent with the content that it puts up. It's not, we've done, you know, yeah. <laughs> YouTube content. It is not easy. So for everyone who actually has a YouTube channel like that mm -hmm. and puts out content three, four times a week. I think it's more, this guy like it posts like special. four times a day. I'm like, I don't know how, how do he you does do it? it. I don't know how he does it. You know, so shout out to you, man. Shout out Kasuku. Yeah, Thanks for the great. work. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, content creating, mm -hmm. 